السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear brothers and sisters You could see I'm wearing my beautiful sweater You know what that means <laughs> It means story time Yes, story time Dear brothers and sisters Please make dua for me, I'm not feeling well And if you want more stories, because I have a stash of stories to tell you, comment down below. I, I don't know if you like them or not. I'm just making one for my friend. He likes stories. So let's start with Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. There was this king. And... And his horses, and also his servant. This king um, somehow accidentally cut a piece of his finger off. Yeah, that hurts. And this is a true story, it happened long before. So he cut his finger. And he called his servant to aid him. So while the servant was aiding him to, to calm the king down, he said, Allah's plan is great. Allah knows the best for you. Well, that is a good quote, but, you know, the king didn't like uh, the phrase like when he was injured like very hurt so he got angry and it, it reached his limit because uh, he has been going through some problems and the servant has been doing this for a long time saying Allah's plan is great and all of these characters here are Muslim so The king sent him to jail. The king sent the servant to jail because it, it reached his limit. He reached his limit. He couldn't like handle anymore. Got angry. So later that day, he went out with his horse to spend some time. To spend some time out outdoors. And then. A uh, few minutes in or for a short while and then he was doing that for a short while until a tribe came and surrounded him. So since he didn't want to be hurt, he surrendered and the, then the tri tribe took them, uh, to, took them, took him to the uh, campsite to sell a sacrifice him for uh, their God. And just as about to, just when it's uh, uh, when it was about to be time to slaughter him, they saw this one finger, this one finger that was cut. And guess what they said? They said, "How can we sacrifice this thing to our Lord? He has one cut finger. We have to get a full body." By the way, the tribe wasn't Muslim, so they, they were just, uh, you know, taking their means of religion, doing their religion however they want. So they returned him back to his palace and he told the whole story to his servant. And the servant wasn't surprised. And the king replied to him, That was right. You said right. You're wise. You know better than me. And he says, No, it is Allah. And he says, Allah is master of planning. And here's the ayat. وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْغُفُورِ كَلِمَةُ اللَّهِ الْعُلِيَ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْغُفُورِ عَزِيزُ الْغُفُورِ means Master of Planning Allah is Master of Planning 
So the king also asked the servant a question. Why did you say? Why did you say that Allah knows best for me when you were placed in jail? And the servant replied by saying that he would be slaughtered if he went with the king. If you, I went with you, I would have been slaughtered. Since I am forced to go with you because I'm your servant, if I have gone with you, I would have been dead. I, I, my body is intact. So Allah knows best for me. And the king was stunned. Here's the lesson. Here's the lesson we have to learn from here. Do not worry too much on the problem you are on, because indeed Allah knows best for you. And it doesn't mean you're going to get the solution in this world when you're alive. Allah knows best for you. Second, your patience for staying in that problem, not giving up your iman, is going to give you that reward. And you're going to take that reward, and hopefully, this reward will deserve the rahmah of Allah. And then you will be sent to Jannah. So, do not worry on your problems too much. Do not let the problems consume you. So here's the moral we have to learn here. Keep a trust on Allah. Alhamdulillah, that is the end of the story. That's all I have to say for you. And I hope you use this uh, moral I gave you. This moral will help you a lot. Have trust in Allah. And insha'Allah, insha'Allah, things will become better. Either in this world, even either when you're alive, or either when you're dead. When you're in your qabr. When you go to your, in the day of judgment, Allah will to take those little punishments or, I mean, uh, challenges and then he will see what effort you gave him and then this is a test from Allah so he, he, he's trying to push you to your limits see see how much iman you have in yourself and then he will send you to Jannah Allah does not give a burden more than a person can handle May there be peace be upon you. May there be peace upon you. I'm Abdullah. And another day of, with Abdullah will come. Assalamu alaikum.